What's going on, my Flyby family? It's your boy Izzy. Welcome if you're new. So, a reporter asked Dejanay Carrollton about that incident that happened in the last game. And, uh, yeah, her answer, man, is just... Nah, I'm not buying it, man. We're about to get all the way into it, but before we do that, y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up for your boy if you like the content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit at least 14.3 by the end of the day, so if y'all can help me out with that, I highly appreciate it. And don't forget to get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this. Let's get it. Christine here ended up asking the question. I asked Dejanay Carrollton about that moment early in Sunday's Indiana-Connecticut game. When she caught Caitlin Clark in the eye, here's her answer. So she ended up asking the question, right? And I want y'all to hear what she said, okay? Um, did you, uh, when you went and uh, kind of swatted at Caitlin, did you intend to hit her in the eye? And, and if so, could you just, or, or if not, either way, could you talk about what happened on that play? I just, I don't even know why I would intend to hit anybody in the eye. That doesn't even make sense to me. But no, I didn't. I didn't know I hit her, actually. Um, I was trying to make a play on the ball, and I guess I followed through and I hit her. So obviously, it's never intentional. That's not even like the type of player that I am. Um, so yeah. Did you and Marina kind of laugh about it afterwards? It looked like you. there was later on in the game they caught you guys laughing about it. No, I just told you I didn't even know I hit her. So I can't laugh about something I didn't know happened. Y'all didn't see the Marina Mabry uh, reaction. She was doing this to her head. I don't feel like that was necessarily towards what happened with Caitlin Clark, so I can say that much. But let's speak on her answer, right? Now, she said she didn't even know that she hit her in the eye, right? She was trying to make a play on the ball. Now, I have somebody in my comment section who's calling me a fanboy <laughs> uh, because I'm pointing this out, apparently. They are like, hey, first off, I guess they was trying to explain to me that when you try to steal the ball, your fingers aren't extended. I don't know what sport this individual played, but when I played basketball and I stole the ball from people, this is how my hand look. This is how my hand look. <laughs> so are you telling me I'm reaching for the ball like this? I'm stealing like this? Like what? <laughs> anyway, then the specific individual went on and said, when the ball was passed, Dejanay's head turned. It turned right away, right? Now, they're calling me a fanboy for pointing it out. But I'm like, the fanboy activity seems to be amongst the individual. Because the ball is gone. If she was making a play on it, her head would have been turned right now. Her head would have been turned right now. The ball is past her head. She's still looking this way. And mind you, look at the hands. Look at the fingers. They are extended. Ma'am, sir, you're hiding behind a picture, so I don't know. I don't know what you are. But the fingers are extended. What do you mean? <laughs> they are extended. Oh, let's let's keep going though. Maybe maybe she's looking like this, you know. Maybe she's looking at the ball. She got perfect vision, so she's looking still looking at the ball at this point, right? So let's let's just let's keep going. Oh, hit her in the eye. Where's she facing? She's still looking this way. Head hasn't turned yet. Okay, let's see how long it take her though. Okay, hit her in the eye right there. She's still looking that way. Oh, she's still looking that way. So you telling me you didn't know you hit her in the eye, Dejanay? You telling me you didn't know you just struck this woman in the eye? You still looking that way? You're still looking that way. But you're not that type of player. If you wasn't that type of player, after you did that, wouldn't you have turned around and said, my bad, or made sure she was okay? If you wasn't that type of player? Regardless if you knew about hitting her in the eye or not, you felt that contact on your fingers. You felt that. If she was down on the ground holding her eye, if that was me, I would have turned around and checked on her. 
regardless if I knew for a fact if I hit her in the eye or not. I would have checked on her. Let's give her the benefit of the doubt. The ball was still in play. Okay, even after the fact you made your play, you still didn't come check on her. You didn't know you hit her in the eye, you're looking dead at her. You are looking dead at Caitlin Clark right here. Let's see when she turned her head. Okay, she hit her in the eye, boom, she's still looking. Still looking. That is eye contact right there. That is eye contact. Where else is she looking? What The ball way over here. Wouldn't her head be turned around by now? She is looking her dead in her face trying to hit her eyeball. The people that are saying that Caitlin Clark fans and fanboys are delusional for saying that Dejanay Carrollton did this on purpose, you're delusional. <laughs> and you're kind of sick. You're saying this was actually trying to make a play on the ball. She's not even looking at the ball. It's been seconds after the ball has been gone. The ball is way past her head. If she was trying to make a play, her whole body would have been turned by now. So not only did she laugh about it in the interview, she lied about it. Let's just see how far the ball gets. Does it get out the screen before she even turned her head? Okay, she's still looking, still looking, still looking. And I think the screen is helping her at this point. I think the screen is helping her at this point because it's, it's moving a little bit. Yeah, it's going with the ball. Look how she's still looking. The ball would have been out of the screen. If it would have just stayed right here looking at them two, the ball is out of the screen. And she's still looking. Look, oh, I didn't know I hit her. You hit her, brought your hand back, and still looking at her. <laughs> but y'all say, I'm delusional. I never said this was the exact reason why Indiana Fever lost. I never said that. If you go look at my game breakdown, I tell you exactly why they lost. Don't act like because I'm pointing this out, I'm making an excuse for Caitlin Clark. This is a dirty play. It's as simple as that. This play is dirty. She's not even looking at the ball. Let's keep going. How long does it take her to actually turn her head? She still hasn't turned her head. Still hasn't turned her head. Every time I'm moving, it's a second, by the way. Y'all see that? Every time I move, it's a second. Barely turning her head here. To the individual that was trying to say she turned her head right away, please refute this. Please. It was already in slow-mo. I guess I had to slow it down even more for you to see it. Can you explain this for me, please? The ball is way past her head. Body still. Look at her body. Look at her body. Shoulders still squared off towards Cece. Anybody who's going after the ball and really going after the ball, their whole body frame is going to turn like this. And then I also heard this. Oh, it's playoff basketball, Izzy. It's playoff basketball. What are you expecting? Stop being a crybaby. I'm expecting physicality. I'm expecting high-level play. I'm not expecting dirty work like this. Dirty plays. I'm not expecting that. It's a difference between physicality and dirty. It's a difference. There's no room for this in basketball. That goes for women and men's sports. So please, everybody who disagree with me on my other video, find this video, please, and come back and refute what I just showed here. Because y'all are swearing up and down, her head turned as soon as the ball was passed. Caitlin Clark isn't going to make an excuse about it. Yeah, she's going to say she was fine. Because it's Caitlin Clark. She's trying to be the GOAT. She's trying to make a point. She's trying to show them that they can't break her. But me being a fan of basketball, I can call the BS. And that's what it is, BS. And it did affect her shooting. She said it didn't, but it did. She shot 23%. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about this, man. I love y'all. Y'all keep it smooth.